Something terrible happened last night. Well, I slept very well. Excuse me, Moo Moo, but we're talking about me, not you. Sorry, Rita, but since we're always talking about you, I thought that for once I could be the center of attention and we could talk about me. The two of you need to stop talking about yourselves for a change. It's always me this or me that. It's time you learn that the world doesn't revolve around you. Sorry, Alfred, but it's because I think that I'm important and because of that I and only I... Wait, I forgot what I was saying. Uh, anyway... Enough about me. What do you think of me? You'll never learn. I think I'll go for a walk. I can't stand any more of this. Good morning, Mr. Snail. Where are you going? Good morning. I'm on my way to the lake to look for some water. But the lake is far away. Do you have to travel that far every day? Yes, every day. I go back and forth to the lake. It takes a long time to get there and even longer to come back because I come home carrying water for my family. It's what I do all day. Go back and forth, same thing every day. So why don't you move your house closer to the lake? I'd love that, but my house is so big I can't move it. I can only move the little house that I always carry on Hello, my back. Hello, Mr. Snail. My name is Rita, and my friend Moo Moo and I are going to help you. Me? I mean, I... I can't because I have to... Don't worry, Mr. Snail. You'll see that we are going to help you. It's just a minor detail, Rita. And here I was thinking that you only thought about yourselves. Alfred, we are going to show you that we're really nice and that we don't only think about ourselves. We also really like helping others. Yeah, that's right. We help everyone. Rita... Who needs our help? Mumu, Mr. Snail has an injured crawler and has to go to the hospital so that they can give him six shots. Huh? What? There's nothing wrong with me. I'm out of here. <laughs> Don't be afraid, Mr. Snail. It was just a joke. Let's go to your house and you'll see that everything will be just fine. Tell us where it is and we'll follow you. My house is right in the middle of a field of flowers. Let's get going. Mr. Snail, whenever you want, you can start moving. I've already been moving for a while. Rita, aren't we moving too slowly? At this rate, we won't even get there by tomorrow. So what do you want me to do? This snail is moving slower than a sleeping turtle. Mr. Snail, why don't you climb up onto my ear so we can move along a little faster? Sounds good to me, but I don't know if I can handle that kind of speed. Here we are. This is my home. Welcome. It's very pretty. Where's your family? My family is visiting their grandparents. They'll be back next week. They'll be so happy when they see that we've moved near the lake. So now we just have to get everything ready to go and then move the house to the lake. I'll put myself here in the middle, and you all decide what's the best way to take me. I'm not sure how we can do it. It seems easy, but we have to do it very carefully. Why don't we just put the house on top of a log, and Rita and I will carry it. What a great idea! Rita, you take that log on the ground. Moo Moo, you put the house on it. Now all you have to do is pick it up and we can go! Hey, Mr. Snail! Is everything okay? Everything's perfect, thank you! From up here, I have a great view, and I love the speed. Don't worry. You're going to see how soon you'll be in your new home. Here we are. Now, you have to decide where you want us to put your house. Some place that's near the water, but well protected. Let's see. A special place with a nice view and well protected. We could put it right behind that rock. 
That looks good to me. Uh. Thank you for everything. Rita, I'm so tired. I want you to carry me home. But Moo Moo, today we did such a good deed for Mr. Snail. Not exactly. You helped out Mr. Snail, but I helped you out. So get ready, my friend, to carry me home on your back. I don't think so. All right, Moo Moo, I'll carry you, but you'll have to make a big jump to get on. Are you ready? I was born ready. All right now, one, two, three. Ah! Ow! Oh, you two, some things never change. And remember, you can hide wherever you want. But if I find you, you will have to let me play with your toys for two whole days. Now is everyone ready to start the game? So, we can hide wherever we like to, right? Yes, wherever you want. And I have to find you in less than ten minutes. If not, you can go back home and I lose. So is everybody ready? I'll start counting. 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1! Ready or not, here I come. You better be well hidden, because if I find you, I get to play with your toys for two whole days. Hmm. Ooh! There's no way she'll find me. But where could she have gone? Well, I don't know if it's better if I stay here or find another spot to hide. Ah! You scared the pants off me! Ha ha ha! How did you find me? It was a lot easier than I thought. Do I really have to give you all my toys? Well, since you're my best friend, I don't think you have to let me keep them for two days. Oh, thank you, Moo Moo! I get to keep them for three days. Come on! I don't like this game anymore. I'll see you later. I need to go find the others. If I tell you where Olga is, will you give me a break with the toys? Let me think about it. No, I'll find her anyway. There's no way she'll find me here. It's impossible. Among all these trees, there's no way. I see you. But how'd you find me? I could tell you how, but I'm not going to. I'm sure that I'm going to win. There's no way she'll find me here. I know that she's already found Rita and Olga, but she'll never find me. There's no way she can find me with all this water. Plus, she's only got four minutes left to find me. She's never going to make it. Ah! You really scared me, Moo Moo. How, how is that possible? There's no way you could have found me. It, it's physically impossible. What do you want me to say? I'm the best. See you later. I've got to go look for the last two.
There's only two minutes left to go. There's no way she'll find me. I'm gonna win for sure. Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. That was close. Achoo! You better take care of that cold, Milo. How is that possible? I was sure you wouldn't be able to find me and that I'd win. You still need to find Talalo. He's our absolute last hope. You only have 20 seconds left before time runs out. I think we already know who's gonna win. Talalo is the best at hiding, since he can hide wherever he wants. Woof, woof. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. I see you. <laughs> Talalo's the one who fell. I'm going to have such a good time with all your toys. Thank you. Wow, what luck to be able to play with all our toys. Well, I'll let you slide if we play the reverse. I'll hide and all of you have to look for me. All right. 30, 30, 29, 29 28, 28, 28, 27, 26, 26 26, 25, 25 24. 24. Shh, 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 when are we going back with the others? Pardon me? Quit with the pardon me. I want to go back with the others right now. I think that you're mistaken. Oh. What an adorable little sheep. You're so clean and white, aren't you? Whatever. Can you tell that mongrel shepherd to move his butt? I want to be with the other sheep. What do you mean, mongrel shepherd? This is Alfred. And he's not a shepherd dog? Of course he's a shepherd dog. Are you blind or what? I want to go with the others, now! Don't worry, Rita. It's obvious that this little sheep is lost and has me confused with her shepherd dog. Well, let's see. Have you lost your flock? No! I'm with the shepherd dog. It's the other sheep who are lost. But this isn't your shepherd dog. It's my Alfred. So, is he your boyfriend or what? No, he, uh, he's, uh, he's... Rita is my friend. You don't have to explain anything to me. If you're in love, that's your business. I already said no! Your girlfriend has some temper. So, will you take me to the others, or do I have to go alone? I would love to go with you, but right now I'm waiting for my friends to meet me so we can go and have some tea. Do as you like. I'll go alone. Alfred, Rita told us that there's a lost sheep around here. That assumption is correct. The sheep went over that way. How could you let her go all alone? It's almost time for tea. But Alfred, she's lost and all alone. You have to go and help her. Where has the poor little thing gone? She must be so alone without her family. Now I feel awful for having let her go alone. The poor little thing. Look, she's over there under the tree. Are you all right, little sheep? It's about time. I've been waiting here for 10 minutes for that mongrel to lead me to the rest of the sheep. You're very mistaken. This <clears throat> mongrel, as you call him, is Alfred, and he's our friend. He is not your shepherd dog. That can't be. Then I'm... I'm lost! I will never see my family ever again. Somebody needs to comfort me. I'm so sad. Little sheep, we'll help you find them. Get away, Mongrel. This is all your fault. Don't worry. We'll help you get back to your family. 
Do you remember any particular place you went to every day? Now that I think about it, yes, I do remember. There's a place nearby with a river and a big pink rock. Well, I don't know where that is. No. Nope. Um, neither do I, Milo. I know exactly where that location is, but I don't think I want to help this sheep. She's been very unpleasant this whole time. I'm sorry, sweet mongrel. What I mean to say is, knight in shining armor, please guide me to my home and I will reward you with a great big kiss. Come on, Alfred, be nice to her. The poor thing's lost. All right, then. But don't expect me to accept one single kiss. Lead the way, Alfred. We'll all follow you. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. We've been walking for quite a while, and I don't see anything that looks familiar. Don't worry, Olga. We're almost there now. Are we there yet? We have reached our destination. What a beautiful place. And look at all the sheep. Yes, it's very pretty. Look, there's a dog coming this way. Who could it be? It's Alfreda. She's my shepherd dog. Huh? What? Alfreda? I've brought you all the way out here, and to top it all off, you call me Alfreda? Have you no shame? Alfreda is the dog who's coming over here, and she's a girl. Alfred, a little dog just like you. She could be your girlfriend, and you could get married and have little puppies. <laughs> ahem, ahem. Good afternoon, friends. I see that you've brought back my sheep. Thank you. You have all been very kind. They've been very nice to me, and I promised Alfred that I would reward him with a kiss. If you'd like, I can give him one. Which one is Alfred? He's the one sitting behind Milo. Good afternoon. It looks like they've fallen in love. How beautiful. There's really no need for reward. It has been my pleasure to help such a friendly and kind sheep find a way home. But... You must get rewarded every once in a while. It's not necessary, thank you. Okay, as you wish. At any rate, thank you, friends. I know you weren't interested in any reward, but you could have accepted the kiss, couldn't you? I'm a gentleman, and a gentleman doesn't accept kisses in exchange for anything. Even though it would have been nice to receive a kiss from such a lovely damsel. Psst, psst. <gasps> ah! <laughs> 